everybody welcome back to my channel sorry it's been like two weeks since I have uploaded a video I have been I'm 15 weeks and two days pregnant right now I have been so just tired and like not motivated I've been a very impatient emotional pregnant lady lately um I just feel just so done with the world, just don't gotta care in the world, like, just, I'm just done with everything and, like, everybody, and I'm just, like, ugh, I just want to take a nap for the rest of my pregnancy. Physically, though, I feel okay, but mentally, I am just drained. I'm gonna go ahead and read what my baby center app has to say, like, you, you can already tell, like, I'm getting out of breath. Before this, like, I tried cleaning the house a little bit. I made my bed for the first time in like weeks just for this video. I took a shower and like after like running around and trying to get some stuff done like my belly is just like oh just like I'm I, like I need to sit down. <laughs> Baby is now about four inches from crown to rump and weighs in at approximately two and a half ounces and is about the size of an apple or an orange so that's really cool comparing to like what seems like just a few weeks ago it was just the size of a grape and now it's like the size of an orange like it's such a short amount of time like it's getting so big like my belly has popped and like I feel like I can feel every growth spur like my belly just keeps getting bigger and stretching and like it hurts but like it's exciting at the same time so baby's eyes like the eyelids are still fused shut and like they're, they'll be fused shut until like 27 weeks along but it says here that the baby can sense like change in light like if I were to hold like my like a flashlight or like my phone up to my stomach it says the baby would be able to like sense that and move away from it which is awesome like that is so cool I can't wait for the baby to be able to start hearing me too like hearing me talk and I can start talking to the baby and singing to the baby. That'd be so cool. It says that the baby uh, can't taste much right now, but the taste buds are forming, which is awesome. So, like, pretty much, like, all five senses are, like, getting ready to start working. This week is, like, the earliest point where you can find out the gender of your baby. However, we won't be finding out the gender of our baby until I'm 18 weeks along. So, we've got about three more weeks, and I am so excited for that, like... Be looking out for that video because it's gonna be awesome and we have a gender reveal party planned for the exact same day like a couple hours after we find out what it is like we're gonna go to our ultrasound and then I think we're gonna have a friend um, film and vlog all that for us and then the doctor will uh, give the results to our friend so we're not gonna know what it is until the party when we find out with everybody else so our friend is gonna go and get the color things that we need for the gender and then we'll find out along with everybody else at our party so I'm very 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 excited about that I think that's like the best way for us to do it we've kind of been um, I feel like our whole pregnancy has been really uh, involved like really involving our whole family like the way that we announced our pregnancy involved our whole family the way that we announced the gender will involve our whole family and like we're just a really close to a tight knit family, so I'm very excited about that. Um, I'm counting down the days. I really wish, like, now that it's so close, like I told Noah the other day, like, I wish I would have scheduled it for 16 weeks because at this um, particular clinic that we're going to, you have to be 16 weeks. But, like, when I scheduled it, I wanted it to be closer to Thanksgiving, so I was like, well, let's go when I'm 18 weeks. But now, like, it's actually here, and now I'm like, oh, I wish I wouldn't have waited. Like, why did I do that? We could be finding out the gender next weekend instead of instead of in three weeks. So, oh well. But it'll be here soon enough. Um, I'm going to talk about some of my symptoms. I feel like there has been a lot going on. I have been breaking out like crazy, like on my chest, on my shoulders, I have a huge pimple on my hip that's been there for a while, all like around my chin, it's been awful, like, it started off as like just a couple, and I was like, oh, not a big deal, is it here too, it's not that big of a deal, but now, and then it turned into like five or six, and then I was like, oh, okay, there's one right here, like, they're just all over. You guys, I think I'm finally 
starting to become more sure that what I'm all the flutters in my stomach like are the baby I've been feeling flutters and twitching since I was like 12 weeks 11 or 12 weeks um, but like this past week like me being 15 weeks I've had two like huge flutter sensations in my stomach like over here kind of on the left side which has been crazy like there was one time when I was driving and I was just like oh my gosh like what was that I wasn't going up a hill or anything but it was just kind of like like the sensation you get when you're going over a hill or like on the roller coaster like whoa and it was just like that like it was amazing I just knew I just knew that it was the baby and then um, another time when I was eating lunch or something or I was just about to eat lunch and I, I felt like that huge flutter again and it like brought tears to my eyes because I knew that it was a baby and it was just so exciting like I feel like it's finally starting to get to that fun stage of being pregnant um, I have very very little nauseousness still I'm gonna I think morning sickness is pretty much out the door for the most part I get nauseous when I'm just so hungry like this morning I just wanted to sleep in so bad and I was just trying so hard to just ignore the fact that I was hungry because I was just not ready to get up and then when I did get up it was like all of the hunger pains just kind of hit me and then like I had to like go gag I didn't puke or anything but like I had to go to the bathroom and just gag and gag and gag and then I went and ate a pot tart <laughs> so like my appetite it has come back but um so I can go throw up and then go eat and I'm just fine so which is kind of gross but it's all good so my appetite is coming back um my appetite kind of came back and then went away again for like three days and then came back again um earlier this week I was not feeling very good but I feel I feel amazing right this second now that I've actually like sat down and relaxed I feel great um so I am so thankful for that I was sick for seven weeks I had morning sickness for like six or seven weeks and like I am yes it's all worth it but no I do not wish to go back at all like I do not want to do it all over again heck no like I'm glad that that part of the pregnancy is over and I'm gonna pray to God right now that it doesn't come back later on to haunt me so um, I've been going to the chiropractor about every two weeks we had our first um, midwife appointment about two weeks ago so you can go uh, click on that video up here if you haven't seen it um, we have another midwife appointment coming up on November 4th and then we have our ultrasound to find out the gender on November 12th and I will have all of those videos up so you guys can follow along on our journey I think that's pretty much it like that's basically everything oh I'm gonna talk about my weight loss a little bit too I have lost close to 20 pounds since I found out I was pregnant because of all the throwing up and not eating and being scared to eat but now like it kind of fluctuates a little bit it kind of like I'll go up like two or three pounds and then I'll lose them again so I haven't I haven't gained any weight yet so I'm 15 weeks along and I haven't gained any weight yet at all like I just keep losing weight so hopefully I'll start to gain weight a little bit it's gonna be kind of hard for me to see that number go up on the scale but I know that it's just it's for the baby and then once the baby is here I'm hoping that the number goes right back down um, especially when I plan on breastfeeding and stuff I know that's gonna help too so um, yeah that's basically it like, if you have any questions or anything you can leave them in a comment down below or if you have any questions for Noah we'll see you guys in our next video hopefully I plan on vlogging this weekend um, I hope so because we haven't done any vlogs in forever and that's something that I want to keep doing and try and keep that up so I'm gonna try and vlog a little bit this weekend so stay tuned for that. I'm gonna end this video with a belly shot. This is my belly with the shirt on. A little orange in my stomach, you guys. And then here's the belly with the shirt off.
い。